Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, just with a response to the top three Tuesday pick up and play games. Now, mine are all going to be on the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. This is my SP that I picked up a little while ago. The runner up is going to be Tetris. Now, this is the original Tetris that I got with my Game Boy ages ago, but I'm kind of done with Tetris after 20 years. Number three on my list is Dig Dug. Now, this is the version from the Namco Museum 50th Anniversary on the Game Boy Advance, and it's actually one of the better ones. Now, it's a little hard to play, because I'm sitting uh, trying to play it through the viewfinder, but I do manage to do alright, if I don't say so myself. Now, this used to be a game that I could sit and play for hours and hours. I had it on the Commodore 64. I believe I had it on the Nintendo, the Atari 2600 and I'm still playing it on the Game Boy Advance. Now, this is one of those games that I love to just have in my pocket so that I can swap it out at any time when I want to play. That's right. Number two on my list is none other than Gauntlet. Now, I could kind of cheat and say that you could put any one of the things from the series, except for Seven Sorrows, and I would play it forever. And that's kind of the whole point of the games. Now, I remember playing this game on roller skates. At the roller rink, we would go there for a field trip from school, and my friends and I would do nothing but play this game while standing on roller skates. It was the first time that we could play four players all together, and it was just amazing. That, and the guy talked to us. How cool is that? Number one, and by far away the game that I have spent the most time, money, effort, uh, probably not blood, maybe a little sweat depending on how hot it was in the room, is none other than Galaga. Now, I played this game in the arcade every chance that I got if I had any quarters in my pockets. It only had the left and right stick and the shoot, so it didn't wasn't as versatile as uh, some of the other games that came along at the time, but it was still one that I just loved. And I'm still always afraid of this sound. That's right, Fighter Captured. This was one of the first games where you could actually get your fighter captured, essentially losing a life, but then eventually shoot that guy and get him back. Now that was pretty cool. Both Galaga and Dig Dug can be found on this cartridge, and then Gauntlet can be found on this cartridge. Hope you enjoyed this. As always, play on!